Short Story 85 The Lost Puppy and the Friendly Farmer It was a bright Sunday morning in the rolling hills of England. The sun peeked over the green fields, painting them with golden light. In a cosy cottage nestled between two hills, Lily woke up early, excited to explore the countryside. She loved Sundays. No school, just fresh air, sunshine and adventures with her furry friend Toby, a bouncy little border collie puppy. Lily put on her big yellow boots and a bright red coat, then whistled for Toby. Toby, always eager for fun, came bounding out, his black and white tail wagging like a metronome on the fast forward. With Lily skipping ahead and Toby prancing around her, they set off through the fields. The air was crisp and clean, smelling of dew and blooming wildflowers. Birdsong filled the air, a beautiful chorus sung by unseen feathered friends. Toby chased butterflies, his paws tickling the tall grass, while Lily laughed, feeling the wind whisper through her hair. As they walked, they came across a narrow dirt path leading into a wooded valley. Lily loved exploring hidden paths, so she turned to Toby and said, Come on, Toby, let's see where this goes. Toby barked happily and, with his tongue lolling out, followed Lily eagerly. The path grew narrower, dappled with sunlight filtering through the leaves of towering oak trees. The air grew cooler and a sense of mystery hung in the air. Suddenly, Toby stopped, his ears perked up. He whimpered softly and started sniffing the ground. Lily followed his gaze and saw a tiny brown ball huddled under a bush. As she got closer, she realised it was a puppy, all alone and shivering. The puppy was smaller than Toby, with big, scared eyes and matted fur. He looked lost and lonely, whimpering softly. Lily's heart melted. She knelt down and gently stroked the puppy's head. Poor little thing, she murmured. You must be lost. Toby, realising Lily's intentions, nuzzled the small puppy, his tail wagging gently. The little puppy seemed to relax a bit, licking Toby's nose in gratitude. Lily knew she had to help. Picking up the puppy, she decided to follow the path further, hoping it might lead back to a farm or village. They walked for a while, the little puppy nestled comfortably in Lily's arms. Toby walked alongside them, keeping a watchful eye on his new friend. Finally, the path opened up into a clearing. In the distance, Lily saw a cosy farmhouse surrounded by fields and sheep. Her eyes look up, lit up. Toby, look, she exclaimed. Maybe the farmer there knows this poor puppy. She hurried towards the farmhouse, Toby and the puppy close behind. As they approached, a friendly-looking woman with rosy cheeks and a straw hat came out. She smiled warmly at Lily. Good morning, dear. What brings you here? Lily explained about finding the lost puppy and her hope that the farmer might know where he belonged. The woman listened patiently, then knelt down and examined the puppy. I've never seen this little one before, she said, but he's adorable. Don't worry, dear. We'll take care of him. The farmer introduced herself as Mrs. Green and invited Lily and Toby inside. In the warm kitchen, they were treated to milk and freshly baked bread. The little puppy, now named Patch by Lily, lapped up some milk and curled up at Toby's feet, finally feeling safe and warm. Lily spent the afternoon playing with Patch and Toby in the farmyard, chasing chickens and helping Mrs. Green feed the sheep. Mrs. Green promised to put up posters at the local market in case anyone was missing the puppy. As the sun started to set, casting long shadows across the fields, Lily knew it was time to go home. With a heavy heart, she said goodbye to Mrs. Green, Toby and Patch. Patch whimpered as Lily gave him one last hug, but she promised to visit again soon. Walking back hand in paw with Toby, Lily felt a pang of sadness. She wanted to keep Patch, but she knew he belonged somewhere else. As they reached the path leading back to their cottage, Toby let out a joyful bark. Lily looked up and saw a young boy running towards them, tears streaming down his face. Toby! Patch! he cried out, reaching for the puppy. 
It was Patch's owner, Tom. He explained that Patch had followed him into the woods earlier and then disappeared. He had been searching for him all day, worried sick. Lily's heart soared with joy. She handed Patch over to Tom, who showered the puppy with grateful hugs. Patch barked excitedly, licking Tom's face and jumping around his legs. As Tom, with a tearful thank you and a happy Patch in his arms, started walking away, Lily couldn't help but wave with a bittersweet smile. A lump formed in her throat, but it was a happy lump, mixed with relief and the warmth of having done the right thing. Just then, Toby nudged her leg with his wet nose, looking up at her with his big brown eyes. He whimpered softly, sensing her sadness. Lily knelt down and hugged him tightly. Thank you, Toby, she whispered. You found Patch and made me realise what a difference we can make, even on a simple Sunday walk. As they walked back to their cottage, the setting sun painting the sky in fiery hues, Lily held Toby close. She knew Patch would be well loved and cared for, and even though a part of her wished they could have kept him, she found solace in the joy she brought to both the puppy and his owner. Back in their cottage, Toby curled up at Lily's feet, his rhythmic snores filling the room. Lily snuggled into her blanket, a warm fire crackling in the hearth. Though tired, her heart brimmed with contentment. The memory of Patsy's grateful eyes and Tom's tears of joy painted a warm picture in her mind. Lily knew that even though her adventure with the lost puppy had come to an end, the experience would stay with her forever. It was a reminder that kindness and compassion, like the sunbeams on a spring day, could reach the darkest corners and brighten even the smallest of lives. As she drifted off to sleep, Lily wished for more Sundays filled with sunshine, fresh air and the joy of helping others, one lost puppy at a time. And so the story of the lost puppy and the friendly farmer became a treasured memory for Lily, a reminder that even the smallest acts of kindness can have a ripple effect, spreading warmth and happiness like the golden rays of the setting sun. Vocabulary Notes General Sunday, the seventh day of the week, often a day of rest and relaxation. Countryside the rural area outside of a city or town. Explore, to investigate or travel through a new place. Adventure, an exciting or unusual experience. Furry friend, a close animal companion, a phrase often used for pets. Eager, very enthusiastic or wanting to do something. Prancing, moving in a lively and playful way. Nature. Rolling hills, gentle slopes rising and falling across the land. Golden light, warm sunlight often seen at sunrise or sunset. Dew, tiny drops of water that form on plants in the cool night air. Wild flowers, bright flowers that grow naturally in fields and meadows. Towering oak trees, Tall and strong trees with broad leaves. Valley, a low area between hills or mountains. Sunlight filtering through. Light passing through leaves in a way that creates dappled patterns. Chorus, a group of singers or birds singing together. Animals. Border Collie, a breed of dog known for its intelligence and energy. Bouncy jumping and moving about playfully. Paws, the feet of an animal with claws. Sniffing, using your nose to smell something. Whimpering, making a soft, high-pitched cry, often expressing sadness or fear. Nuzzled, gently rubbed against something with your nose. Curled up, lying in a comfortable, round position. Sheep, Farm animals with thick wool raised for their meat and fleece. Emotions and actions. Heart melted, felt a surge of sympathy or affection. Murmured, spoke softly. Hurried, moved quickly and urgently. 
promised, stated that you will do something in the future, treated to, offered food or drink as a kind gesture, lapped up, drank quickly and eagerly, pang of sadness, a sudden feeling of unhappiness, bittersweet, a mixture of happiness and sadness, solace, comfort or reassurance, brimmed with contentment, felt a deep sense of satisfaction, drifted off to sleep, slowly fell asleep. Other. Cottage, a small cosy house, often in a rural area. Boots, protective footwear made of rubber or leather, often worn in wet or muddy conditions. Coat, a garment worn over other clothes for a warmth or protection. Whistle, a small device that makes a high-pitched sound when blown. Path, a narrow track or way used for walking. Clearing, an open area in a forest or woods. Rosy cheeks, red cheeks, often a sign of good health. Straw hat, a wide-brimmed hat made of straw, worn to protect from the sun. Farmyard, the enclosed area around a farmhouse where animals are kept. Poster, a printed notice displayed in a public place. Grateful, thankful for something good that someone has done. Soak up, absorb or enjoy something fully. Ripple effect, a series of widening consequences like throwing a stone in a pond. Story written by Google Bard AI, image created by Bing.com AI. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed this story, please would you click on the like icon and take the time to leave a comment. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.